This is an excerpt from a talk, Regaining Your Divine Memory. We are not implying that you should forget everything. In this talk, we are not saying that memory should all be erased, but we are referring to memory in the sense that it is held on to rather than the experiences that you have had creating wisdom that you will always retain. Past lives are simply metaphors for other experiences that your spirit or your soul has had. And human beings define them as past lives. Well, believe me, you've lived in other places rather than Earth. This is not the only existence in the, in the cosmos. Source of any classified disease or, or emotional problem is a memory. Period. There is no other thing. Memory is the cause of all emotional, mental, or feeling judgment. This is it. It's very simple. So why do we tell you that consciousness cures everything? Because consciousness doesn't hold memory. It's pure awareness. Without memory, it's just awareness. That's why they're trying to get you in the public sector to be present in the moment. Because if you're present in the moment, you don't contain memory. Just for that instant, for that split second, for those ten minutes, whatever time it is. So it allows you to have the illusion that you're clear. So people are working at creating the illusion constantly by trying to be present rather than loving back your creations and assimilating all those experiences and basically ridding yourself of memory. So when <clears throat> you are holding memory, you can have any possible experience that you've ever had. And you'll repeat it. You'll recreate it in a new life, in this life, on some other planet, in some other galaxy, in some other universe. You'll recreate it in the version of the time you are in, in the place you are in. You will create the same experience in that version until you have no memory. On Earth, human beings value memory. Well, look at what memory creates. Memory creates suffering. And in some ways, we, we're at the next level where we've told you before that the source of pain was something else. Now we're telling you the source of pain, a higher frequency, is memory. Without memory, there would be no pain. It is only because of memory that you experience pain. And because human beings value memory, you tend to hold on to the memory. And you think that it's important to have memories. Look at how they make it an emotional thing, having memories about your family and keeping pictures and how the commercials sell you on buying something that will create memories. Memories are not necessary. They aren't required. At a higher frequency, memory becomes wisdom. And wisdom is a knowingness without the holding on to frequency. There is a knowingness of those frequencies without having to self-contain those frequencies. And that if you want, you can go visit that frequency anytime you wish. You do not have to hold on to the frequency because frequencies cannot be uncreated. Frequencies only change form. So therefore, every experience in the universe is registered somewhere. Because it is. It can't be unised. And so where the confusion lies is the humans, the humans selling on to other humans about memory and its value. Then they create the program for your humanness to desire the holding on of memories. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in the bigger scheme, this is a great way for those in the human world in power to manipulate you. 
Because if they can keep you holding on to memories, they can keep you in anything they want. They can use that to their advantage in the human world to get what they want. So they've gone from the dark ages of making you fearful of everything. Now they create positive memories. Now they even use positive thinking. They use all these things to keep you in the desire of holding on to memory because memory has something to do with who you are, what you're about, and they very subtly brainwash you into believing that you need to have memories. You do not need to have memories, you need to have wisdom. Within wisdom is the knowingness of all of the universe, and from that you can obtain any information you want. You do not need to hold on to memories. The memories lock you into your human. Memories are associated with your beliefs and your patterned behaviors. And if they can keep you in that frequency, they've got what they want. And you buy into it because you forget your spirit. When you remember your spirit, they can't keep you in memory any longer. When you access your spirit, all karma dissolves. All memories dissolve, but you have the wisdom of everything you have ever experienced without memory. Different frequency. And so what happens to the average person is that they believe in the memory program, so they're human their human patterning takes on that pattern. I have to hold on to my memories. Then I hold on to my memories. Then I'm in that frequency. And whatever those memories are, they create my life. They create my perceptions of every new experience. And every new experience is no longer new because it is jaded by my memories. For more information, please contact us at www.masteringtheartofbeinghuman.com